Watch Wars. Welcome to this episode of Watch Wars. Actually, a very special Watch Wars because it's also a make believe watches. What's a make believe watch? Make believe, make believe watches. Make believe, make believe watches. It's not on your wrist because it doesn't exist. It's only in your head, so Photoshop it instead. Make believe, make believe watches. And in this corner, we have yours truly's design for the Rolex World Command, uh, loosely based, <laughs> actually entirely based, on the Sky Dweller uh, platform. And then to the right, we have Big Wrist Energy selection based on the new uh, 1908 Nye Cellini platform. To make this a fair run, being that I've got a horse in the race, and I'm actually very surprised how it all turned out, but to be honest, it is a very fair system. We use 25 criteria spread across the exterior, the interior of the watch, the movement itself, and market. There's always going to be a market price, even when we've got a make-believe watch in play. Have no fear, I'm not gonna belabor the 25, especially since I don't have the watches on hand or on wrist, so we're gonna rip right through it. Diving into exterior. Now, my design is going to win a bracelet, uh, a bracelet clasp, bezel and bezel insert, if for no other reason than uh, Kurt's design doesn't have any of those things. Um, the crystal is both sapphire, so that's a draw. Now, the case and the case back, both of those points are going to Kurt. The case finishing is going to be better, and the case back has a display for that movement. And that would be really rather beautiful to see if Rolex could pull off such a thing as a world timer like this. The crown is going to go to the design on the left, and neither of them have crown guards, so that's going to be a draw. Wearability, the diameter is a little bit smaller for Kurtz. Uh, I'm gonna put some uh, measurements up on the board. The diameter is uh, 39 there, so a little more wearable. Also, the height is a thinner, slimmer, so that's going to Kurt. The lug width, also going to Kurt, because my watch has an UGG width, 21 millimeters. However, uh, water resistance goes to me, 100 meters on mine versus 50 on his. And the weight, they're both gold, but that bracelet's heavy as all get out. I'm sorry, everyone's gold, my B. Uh, the weight award is going to Kurt. So there we have the shakedown for the first uh, part. Even Steven, six versus six on the exterior alone. Moving more interiorly, uh, the dial and the rehot award, uh, both going to Kurt's. Uh, his use of the Rehot is far better. It's got all the cities there. And the dial itself is just prettier. Uh, even though I made the one on the left, it is a little bit cluttered, even though I did try to shoehorn all those on that little mini disc in the middle. Uh, the loom is going to be as Kurt has no loom. Now, handset, they both have very attractive handsets. Uh, nothing terribly out of the ordinary for either, so that one is a draw. So, looking at where we're at. Interior one point to me, two to Kurt, which is going to put Kurt into the lead, albeit narrowly so. Taking a look at the movement. Uh, the movement itself is probably going to be the same caliber for this since they're both make-believe, both world uh, timers, so that's a draw. Power reserve is going to the one on the left. Uh, that <laughs> speculative uh, power reserve is 72 versus 66 on the 1908. Complications, they've got the exact same. Uh, they've got, oh, wait a minute. Kurt's design doesn't have a date. Wait, does it have a date? No, he doesn't have a date on his. Breaking news and shame on me. Here to it, I did not notice that he didn't have a date complication on his. That is going to upset the apple cart. Uh, I'm gonna have to award the point to me in the complications category. Oh my gosh, Kurt, that's a big swig. That's gonna hurt, buddy. Looking at service cost, I'm gonna award that one to Kurt because this ring master bezel uh, is going to add certainly a bit to the complications of a service cost. Coming out of that movement upset, we are neck and neck, nine and nine as we head into market. Wow, okay, price. I'm gonna award that to Kurt's design. Uh, there's just too much Ever Rose Gold on my bracelet. Uh, it's, it was, it's gonna be more expensive to execute, I believe. So we'll award that to Kurt. Now value, 
you're gonna get great value with either of these make-believe watches, so that is a draw. And the last one is resale. The Cellinis and the 1908s are not likely to have a robust resale value if they ever make it, if uh, these watches make it to the secondary market. And we know how Rolex uh, sports models perform. And even though this is a world complication, this world command is falls into the sports comp, uh, the sports line. So I'm gonna have to award that point to me. And uh, what I'm gonna do next is tally it up. Neck and neck, 10 to 10, Kurt. We are a dead draw. Uh, funny enough, when I began shooting this video, uh, you were in the lead, sir. You had won. It was going to be 9 to 10 with your, uh, your design leading. And it's uh, somewhat surprising that it turned out that way. But, yeah, that's my bad for not recognizing that there was a date complication there all along. Just as with much of life, we cannot have a draw in a make-believe watches watch wars. So we're gonna have to go to a showdown here. And drum roll, please. The official winner is Kurt and his design. Uh, why? I think it's a more practical uh, expression of what Rolex would be likely to do. And when Kurt and I got to talking about this design, he actually worked up four different ones and I've got them on screen here. Going left to right, uh, the two, uh, the one on the far left, has got the 36912 uh, just to the right of it. It's got that plus small seconds. Moving further right, stick indices, and then lastly, stick indices with small seconds. For me, the stick indices with small seconds is the prettiest of the designs, the loveliest. And uh, I think he has a preference for the one uh, to have that 3912. But for me, it just looks super clean with those stick indices and small seconds. So well done, Kurt. You have won this watch war. Hope that wherever you are in this wonderful, beautiful hobby of ours, that you are blessed, that you're having fun with your watches. All right, we will catch you in the next one. Peace. Pick up a book. 1001 Watch Designs, Volume 1. We've got line art, oil paintings, steampunk, and even super duper realistic ones. Ones that you could probably put on your wrist today. It's a good bit of fun and a great way to share your support. Thanks for coming along on the ride.